Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Comrade Zero Spike. Back again once again and today, people. Today we are here for Awesome Sentai King of Oja episode 25. And this is the episode. Basically the the episode to like well maybe like part one to like the ending of like season one, air quotes. Because like Toei just said, hey, we we have finna have a time skip. We finna have an anime time skip. And I am digging it. I mean, you, I mean, you guys could have you could have waited till twenty six was out. I mean, it's already out. I'm, I'm late making this freaking video, <laughs> but <laughs> life. But this episode was absolutely freaking great. Um, we see in this episode we are trying. We basically devise a plan to go into the Earth to go basically go into the Earth's core and grab Death Nidoc out and bring him back to the surface. But we see that. We don't, the regular King Oja cannot withstand the magma and the heat down there. So they decided they are going to combine all 20 shoe gods and go down there and get him. But they need 20 pilots. We need 20 pilots to basically go to, to all combine together. Well, 20 pilots to control all 20 shoe gods and have all of them combined all together to go down there and get that bug out of the get that parasite out of their body so <laughs> um they just we see all the all the different kings go off and they start and they recruit their most trusted people in their kingdoms and we see that them finding a way to do this is whoever touch whoever other than you know the king whenever they touch the sword then that sword will glow so Everybody basically gets their most trusted people from their kingdom to use the sword to basically touch the sword. And everybody has these heartfelt moments of how, yeah, I'm going to go fight with you and we're going to fight for our people and things like that. And they ended up uh, recruiting all 20 people. We see Yan Mug basically got his whole like tech crew. We see that um, Himeno got her. She can obviously she got Sebastian. Um, the head nurse, the head maid, and um, one other person. I think, yeah, she only had three people. I'm thinking. I think she only had three people. And we see that Rita just only has one person. She recruited her retainer girl who just feels like she don't even want to do it in general. Like, she's, she's so lazy. Like, she just hates work and she doesn't want to do it anyway. But we have to see Rita actually hug her. We have to see a lot of women. We see some character we see more character development when it comes down to Rita yeah and she ends up recruiting her we see that um Dabowski ends up recruiting his main dude with the mask and his sister and Gira ends up he recruits uh Dugo and um his tech guy you know the tech guy that we've seen before and but he also has to recruit Dune and his little basically his little brother and he doesn't want to take him because it's so it's very very dangerous but he does end up taking dune and he takes uh dune, he takes the you know the sister with him so he brings both he basically brings his brother and his little brother and little sister with him and he is hesitant on that he's very hesitant on that but also early in the episode we did see that jeremy uh he ends up recruiting uh jerem uh the the bug that was always with him you know the 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 bug who can make illusions, mirages, and stuff like that. He ends up recruiting him after he ends up battling him, but we see that he pre pretends to basically betray him just to sh like sh like make Jeremy learn a lesson or prove a point to Jeremy, saying that you kind of lack the will to be a king like you want to be a king so bad but you kind of lack the will to be a king and now it's time for you to actually get more serious about it instead of just instead of just like expecting people to just figure out what you're talking about and you know you see that he's i think yeah i, I was hoping that he i was really hoping that he wasn't gonna die because i really like this guy <laughs> i really like this character and we see that um Jeremy basically comes to the conclusion that hey, he's going to be king of the Bugnarok and he's going to defeat Death Nidoc. and that's when our Mirage, but I'm called our Mirage Bug guy 
ends up becoming Jeremy's retainer or basically becoming like his right hand, which he kind of already was. I mean, you know, he kind of already was, but same, but now he's officially in it. So yeah, and the sword also glows. And with every person that the sword touches, you know, it glows. And then he, his, the Mirage, Bugging Rock, he was one of the people who were chosen. So they get everyone together. They get everyone together. And they say like this huge oath, you know, get us like we're going to make sure like basically we're going to make sure that no one dies no one gets hurt and they all combine together and this mech looks really cool it looks cool but the suit actor has to have has to be suffering from a lot of back pain like it was huge it's just bulky arms bulky bulky like bulky arms just just bulk like it just got backpacks everywhere like it's just huge and the suit actor man i pray for you brother because that that cannot be comfortable at all i was surprised you weren't falling down backwards with the amount of freaking stuff just on your back you know they like you were you were basically like a freaking pack mule but in in, in but either way everything kind of worked out they went they ran down there and they said they only even though this mech is like super powerful and things like that, it can only last for 79 seconds. So they go down there, fight him for like a few minutes and then it's eight seconds left. They grab him, run up back to the surface and they actually, you know, fight him off and they ended up defeating Death Nodok. Now he's not dead, but we ended up defeating him. And once he's defeated, we go back to you know everybody's kind of chilling stuff like that and um we get the conclusion that hey jeremy's gonna go down there and 1v1 death Nodok to tr um, basically destroy him defeat him and become the king of the bug Nodok. we see that everybody's getting ready to go fight death Nodok right now but basically you know we're gonna get that 1v1 with uh jeremy and yeah, we see the sunrise. Everybody's walk. They're walking towards uh, Death Nodok and the, during the sunrise, and they look pretty cool. That was a awesome shot. But yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna see a one v one um in the next episode, and I'll make sure to get that video out tomorrow. Promise. But um yeah, I with everything going on right now, especially with the whole time skip thing, and you know with get us, you know. Or like his basically his, like his little brother and sister. I wonder how far of a time skip is, is this actually is going to be because we do know that after all of this, like we're, they're going to defeat Death Nodok. So after all of this has happened, we know we're good, there's going to be a brand new threat after this. And I wonder what they're going to be. I wonder like I've kind of seen what they kind of look like. And I'm wondering like what are they necessarily going to be? Are they a brand new enemy or are they? Are they like really powerful, you know, Bugnaroks or something like that? Like, is the overall enemy still going to be Bugnarok at the end of the day? And the whole with the whole thing with Jeremy, he's also has has had more character development with the whole like coming to terms of, you know, the, coming to terms with, you know, you have to be more will you have to have a stronger will to be a king and you kind of have to work a lot harder and you know basically atone for what you wrote in this history because it's been 2000 years of like humans versus death Nodok. i mean humans versus bug Nodok, and it's got a freaking end and also comagen is still out there somewhere like that's a threat in itself and he has basically come to terms with that and we also we have to acknowledge that all the kings of old were kind of dicks. Like all the kings back then were basically like dicks and they kind of just don't want to repeat that. If we don't want another Raculous situation happening, it's basically since, hey, Raculous, Raculous still alive. I don't care. That dude's still alive. We didn't see a body, okay? We just, they just told us it was in there. But Raculous is still freaking out there somewhere and I feel like he's going to be making a, an appearance soon. Um, especially even after the time skip, but yeah, I, I also like, you know, it's a, it does well with these seed plants and we still have a bunch of other stuff from previous episodes that have not been resolved. And I'm liking 
the fact that we get like all this wrap up and character development we've had with these characters up until now with the whole thing of Dabowski basically Dabowski getting his sister back and he's not as cannot or not as like double agent e anymore uh rita who has become more outspoken especially shown in this episode as well where she agreed with dabowski on his you know his small speech and stuff and gira and yama have to have had the most character development out of any freaking character they really have like they most have that's in my opinion they've had the most character development out of any freaking care of any character up until now but um yeah you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of episode 25 of awesome sentai king oja make sure to like share subscribe and remember as I always say stay henchened